We know Forest Dunes to be the golf resort, which was bought and has now been developed by Lou Thompson, the Arkansas trucker who has aw shucks himself into one of the best destinations in the country. Forest Dunes has been drawing avid amateurs to the Grayling area for the better part of a decade. But anglers from all over the world have been gravitating to Grayling to fish the Osabo River since the 1870s. About 30 minutes from Forest Dunes, we stopped by the old Osabo Fly Shop, where Wayne Cook agreed to guide us into one of the river's religious stretches of serenity. We are in the holy waters of the Asawa River, just outside of Grayling, Michigan. From Burton's Landing down to Stefan Bridge is what's considered the holy waters. Probably the most famous fly fishing stream in the Midwest. Do you know any history to the term holy water? It's the birthplace of Trout Unlimited, the conservation organization that works to protect cold water resources. What can we do to maintain the fishery in its best possible and form? And that's where it started here? Right here. Wayne was truly the ultimate guide because like the river we were fishing, there was a flow of good info. From the end of April all the way through the end of July, we have a very steady progression of hatches. And so what the Asabo is known best for is hatch match dry fly fishing, catch and release only. In order to release a fish, you gotta catch it. You gotta catch fish. it first, yeah. <laughs> I've had a very low success rate at releasing fish that I didn't catch. <laughs> This just looks like a big old wide open fairway, little dog leg right, <laughs> green tucked behind the yeah, right, you know, yep. the right bend back That's there. That's right. You know, there's a huge crossover between fly fishing and golf. If you're an 18 handicap, you're still having a great time. And if you catch six fish instead of 16 fish, you're still having a great time. Yeah. As a guide, are you seeing more golfers coming in and saying, Absolutely. Hey, taking a break and I want to fish? Guys go out and play around and then take a nap, have a little bite to eat, and then we go fish for, you know, six or seven hours. And there's people from all over the world who come to town just for this river. If you've got your own equipment, we can point you in the right direction. We rent waders and fly rods. We do instructional classes. We do wade trips. We do float trips. It sounds pretty damn good if you ask me. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go get some of those little buggers. Want to catch one? Yes, Let's I do. do. So I learned a lot from Wayne. Most notably, don't fish at noon. Fish generally feed early or late in the day, which I'm using as my excuse. But as the best fishing stories go, when I got back to the clubhouse, my trip looked a little more like this. <laughs> 